I wanted to say just a little bit more about uh, Richard Lanigan's work here on the this is uh, Human Science of Communicology and uh, the Phenomenology of Communication. And I think one of the ways to try to talk about what he has developed in terms of what could be called a binary analog logic is the sense of, of trying to just see what has happened in the way that a lot of people think about uh, argument about ideas. In some way, it could be seen as a continuance, I think, of what uh, Alfred Korzybski was trying to do with his, quotes, non-Aristotelianism. But I think what Lanigan has done is actually achieved that, but with a little bit more uh, capacity to handle uh, some of the problems that come up with this. Now, one way to simply get at this is just cut to the chase and say, well, what are you talking about? Well, it has to do with the way that people rely upon either-or thinking. People seem to just move and move in and out of either or thinking. And they think it's either this or it's that. It's this or it's that. It's, it's a kind of legacy from Aristotle where they don't see that the issues are more complex than sort of simple either or choices and either or logics. Now these are very useful in information theory and in certain kinds of information processing, but they're not that you know, really useful, or they're more even problematic when we move to human communication and human interaction. And so, even in the beginning, when people first started to recognize the problem of either-or thinking, too often the response to the problem of either-or was that people said, yeah, it's really both-and. And so suddenly, Instead of either or, there was a new paradigm which was both and, recognizing that it isn't just either or, it's also both and. But ironically, it was just a reinscription of either or thinking at a higher level of analysis. And so instead of just having either or, people sort of now debated between it, well, they said, well, it's either either or, or it's both and. And well, that's not really right either. And this is what I think Lanigan has been so, you know, competent at uh, addressing and bringing out for people is what he would, I think, you know, call uh, a binary analog logic, which is both, both and and either or. You have to make room for both of those. So you can keep the either or as long as it's properly nested within recognition of other possibilities and how it operates, right? There's both both and and an either or. It's not just either either or or both and. I think to try to see how many cases the problem of the choice of context bears this out, right? I mean, as soon as you're going to include the choice of context, which is what happens when another person interacts with you, they, they don't simply have to take the the context of choice that you've given by the utterances that you've made, it's a, a much larger dynamic and oppositional arguments, they just too quickly slide into either or. The more that people could be sensitive to other possibilities, larger logics, which are able to accommodate for both both and and either or, uh, Right? These, I think these are going to be a little bit richer. So anyway, check out the books if you haven't yet. Thanks.